task 2.10 is transaction that related to AR deposit. So, to proceed with transaction that related to AR deposit, we need to close from the account maintenance first. Okay, go back to my favorite. So, before we uh, do the transaction of AR deposit, we see that whether we have the shortcut of AR deposit or not in our my favorite. So, since we don't have, we just need to add on the AR deposit into my favorite. To add on, you just need to right click again, organize icons and click on the AR deposit here and click on add button to add. And after that, you just click OK. You can see the AR deposit is appear under my favorite. So, to record a new AR deposit, we click on the icon and we can start to create uh, the first deposit that we receive from customer. So, the deposit account is customer deposit. The debtor is customer 1. AR deposit number is new. Uh, you just, I mean, you just keep the date is 25th of January. Okay, and the the description here, you key in deposit, sorry, deposit receipt. So, to uh, add on the line, you click plus sign. So, the payment method is CMBKL. We don't have any check number, so skip. The amount is 300. So, since we have another deposit that we need to key in, the after save we need to tick and we proceed with the next one which is we click on save do you want to enter check number no because we don't have any check number so the second customer deposit is we receive from customer three so the debtor here we choose customer three if just now we receive from customer one now it's customer three so, the, the date is on 25th of January as well. Okay, and the, li the line here, payment method is by CMBKL. The amount is 300. So, since we only have two deposit, what I need to do is I need to untick the after save and proceed with save. Do you want to enter check number? No as well. The next instruction says that we need to use the deposit amount of customer 1 to knock off invoice uh, 0001 in bracket treat as payment received. So the situation is this customer 1, they pay to us a deposit of 300 and then they call us, they say that the 300 that they pay to us as a deposit, they want to deduct as a payment from their invoice. So, how to treat this? We need to record this as a payment received from the customer. So, to record a payment received from the customer, we need to record under AR payment. So, you need to click on the AR payment icon. And for this chapter, you need to choose the debtor that pay the deposit which is the 300 one customer one so this customer one they want to treat the 300 as a payment so the description here you change transferred from deposit so the date you change to the 27th of January and the payment method here is you need to choose the customer deposit because the amount that you want to record as a payment is from the deposit. So, you choose customer deposit here. It will appear there's a one deposit under this customer. So, you just click OK because this you agree on the deposit. And after that, when you click at the empty space, you can see the amount is detected. So, here, you what you need to do is you need to knock off 
which invoice that the customer one requested to know of. So the customer one requested to know of invoice number one, which is this one. So you tick on the know of box, and after that, you can just save the payment. Instruction three. For deposit amount of customer tree, forfeit half and refund the other half. So, how we can actually do this forfeit half and refund the other half for customer tree? We need to go to the AR deposit listing first by click on the wordings. Here you can see for OR number 5, customer 1, the outstanding has become 0 because we already treat the 300 as a payment just now. So now for this ORC customer tree, we need to do forfeit half and refund the other half. The situation here, maybe this customer tree, they want to cancel the order from us. Meaning they, want, they don't want to continue with the order. So what we need to do is we need to forfeit half of the deposit that they already paid to us. And another half of the deposit, we might give back to them as a refund. So to record this, what you need to do, first you need to highlight the OR number 6 and then the next one you need to click on the view. So after you click on the view button, you can see there's a one button forfeit and refund. So you need to click on the forfeit and refund here. To do the forfeited deposit, you need to tick on the forfeited deposit box and you need to assign the forfeited account number accordingly. So the account number is 500,000 sales and the amount is 150. And the date of the forfeited is 30th of January. So, when you record the forfeited amount, you can see there's a, another outstanding amount of 150. So, this 150 that we need to refund to the customer. So, to do refund, you need to tick on the refund deposit here. And then, for the refund document number, you just leave it the same. Description, you just remain. The date, you need to change to the 30th of January as well. So, for the refund payment method, click on the plus sign to insert the line. So, the payment method that we are going to pay to the customer is by cash. So, you choose cash and the amount you key in here, 150. So, when you key in 150 here, you can see the outstanding amount has become 0. Now, you can save the forfeit and refund. And you can see, do you want to enter check number? No. And you can see in your listing, OR number 6, the outstanding has become 0. Mm -hmm.